Welcome back to Hedrick Wet Shaves. Well, new hat, wearing this shirt before, in a bit, a different razor blade by Rockwell in the McCurr 34C. I saw there was a good deal online for the gold version, the 34G, that was kind of cool. And my favorite, Irish Countryside. Afterwards, a little jersey lotion. All right, guys, well, Hope your week is going good. I'll give you a little space news here in a bit. That's where the Rockwell razor blade comes in. In this cute little package, folded up like an envelope, double packaged in one of these. A lot of people like that when it's double packaged. Okay, I already wet the face. Captain's Choice Shaving Bowl and the Executive Shaving Company brush. Not the huge selection that some other people have, but I'm enjoying it. Plan to add to it sometime in the future. And here we go. Yeah, I like this hat. Nice little decal there. It's a little bit hard with hats figuring out what size you want because you measure your head and it'll come out different just about for every brand of hat. I find that to be Pretty true, but this one fits pretty nice. And you can kind of shrink hats sometimes, and you can also kind of stretch a hat a little bit as well. So you'll be seeing this in some of my videos. Shaving cream can be on a little bit thinner side sometimes. All depends on how you whip it up. Okay, Rockwell razor blade in the McCurr 34C. I have about a day and a half of growth, and it always is a little more tuggy when I have that. So we just might have to go over it a little bit. Well, that SLS rocket by SpaceX the most powerful rocket ever something on the order of 8.4 million pounds of thrust I'm not sure about the details and all the different stages and everything but people like Scott Manley can fill you in on that but I've always been fascinated with it if you're not into space travel one thing I always say is the spin-offs the technology that has developed atomic clocks and Better smartphone technology, like miniaturization of cameras in your smartphone, like I'm using now. Probably technology and drones for aerial footage and fun. A lot of those are spin-offs from the space program. That's always, always neat for me to think about is how many different inventions come about that you maybe didn't even realize were related to some other big government program, but then you get some nice benefits in your automobiles or whatever other kind of technology like your computer, your tablet, smartphone is mentioned, that sort of thing. Okay, knock that down pretty good. nice thing about a shaving cream that you actually mix up is it seems to rinse a lot better unless you put a lot of oil in it like I did on that other video. Okay, let's do wet the face. So, I'm very interested in the radiation tests by the Astrorad vest because they'll be flying the mannequins through the uh, well, around the moon and through the Van Allen belts that have a lot of radiation. And they've done many other tests on that sort of thing, but never with the uh, newly invented Astrorad, Stemrad radiation shielding vest. And of course, that's one of my, one of my fields of study is radiological 
emergency management through FEMA. So I'm always interested in different potential radiation shielding systems. You'll notice I'm actually going over the cheeks again with this particular shave because it's about a day and a half as mentioned. All right, here goes. And in space, there are very fast particles, not just gamma radiation and uh, alpha and beta, but neutrons and fast moving larger particles, clumps of nuclei of atoms. So you got to really be careful to provide proper shielding because if you always were shielding with lead despite the weight some particles actually can change into x-rays when they hit lead and so you want to look into some softer shielding measures aluminum and just other combinations that they're experimenting with to properly block all types of radiation this Rockwell blade, it's very nice. Um, it's similar to the RK blade. I, I'm not too big of a fan of the RK chromium, but the, the RK blade made for the Henson razor um, just seems very similar to this Rockwell blade. And it's very nice, very smooth. With that shaving cream, I think I'm very happy with that. Yeah, so I'll try to find some more links about the rocket launch and things related to space. See what we can include in there. And if you guys have anything to share a comment. A gentleman again left a nice kind of a tutorial advisory for my chess games. Uh, some things to put into practice, and I super appreciate that. I really plan to take a look at kind of thinking and taking more time with my chess games because it's something I really enjoy. It really gets you thinking on all kinds of different moves, and it just helps with logic and everything. I think it's great for kids, great for adults, fights Alzheimer's, everything. Keeps you using your mind. All right, so now what I'll normally do is just sort of I never show this on camera. I just sort of slightly wet my face and my hand. Wow, that felt nice and smooth. Very, very happy with that shave. Wow, that is nice. Good old Rockwell razor blades. Way to go, guys. Okay, a little bit of Puracy lotion. Just a tiny little bit. I use it like a balm. And eventually, you know, if I want to put a little money into it, I can get some Balms, but Nivea and others are pretty inexpensive. Kind of wet the tips of my fingers as I just, I like very, very thin amount of anything aftershave esque on my face. So, and I kind of gently, you can just, they say not to really rub or pat your face too much, at least if you're a very sensitive skin person, which I'm generally pretty sensitive skin. I just kind of just gently pat it, and that's kind of what I do for uh, aftershave experience. Fantastic. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Hoping for the best on the launch. Hoping for some fun chess games. If any of you play chess, uh, let me know in the comments, and maybe I'll give a little link to my uh, chess.com uh, user ID name, and you can look me up. And anything interesting to share about radiology, let me know too. There's a lot of science and development with that going on lately as well. To all my friends and family that have fun watching these videos, hope you have a great week. And uh, to everyone who's subscribed, thank you. And new subscribers, appreciate it. So I will see you probably after the launch, hopefully on September 3rd, Saturday, 2022. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.